Hi, Tipton Baptist. Uh, this is a Friday word of encouragement, the first of the year here, January. Um, today is the 12th of January, 2022. It's actually Friday word of encouragement on a Wednesday. Uh, I'd like to begin it off, uh, begin the year off a little early with our word of encouragement. So this is the beginning of what will be hopefully another year with many different words of encouragement coming at you on Fridays. Um, I wanted to start the year off though today. I couldn't wait till Friday. Uh, because of a line that I use often and that I've even talked about uh, on earlier words of encouragement uh, throughout the years in the last year and a half, two years. And that is when I say at the end of a note online to stay in the word. I, I make a remark to stay in the word and be in the word and get in the word. Um, I say that because of the value of the Bible and in uh, the necessity of the Bible in the life of a Christian, of a, of, of a believer in Jesus who has repented and believed in Jesus from the work of the Holy Spirit, calling them unto them, himself. Um, I look here and I, I say that stay in the word, be in the word, largely because of what the word has to say about the word. Um, I had a man tell me one time uh, at a church that I was ministering at, uh, that my perspective of the Bible confused him because this particular man told me that he thought my perspective of the Bible was too high. Uh, he told me that it seemed as if I worshipped the Bible. Uh, I do not worship the Bible. I worship the one whom the Bible elevates, who the Bible uh, reveals, who, who the Bible describes, who the Bible invites you to know. I don't worship the Bible itself. But the necessity of the Bible in relationship to the one that the Bible reveals uh, can't be understated or overstated. Uh, it has to be uh, constant in life of a believer. I draw back to the word of God. Uh, the psalmist talks about hungering and thirsting. Jesus speaks of this as well in Matthew 5. Um, I want to read to you something uh, about the necessity of the Bible and why I say stay in the word. And it's necessary to do that if you're going to be a believer, an active believer with the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. It's necessary to stay in this. It's not just something to have as a side note in life, but it's a daily necessity. And I come to you from Romans chapter 10. And Paul wrote some things that are very important and need to be heard. Bible, The Bible speaks to everyone on earth. God uses it to speak to all nations, all ethnicities, and every continent in any generation around the geography of the globe throughout history that the Bible's been. Paul says this in Romans 10, beginning in verse 12, there's no distinction between Jew and Greek or, or, or Hebrew and, and non-Hebrew. God doesn't see a distinction. There are people that God reaches into the hearts of and calls unto himself. Now, God obviously does see a distinction between the ethnicity of the Jew. He brought his son through the Hebrew community, but specifically relating to salvation, there's not a distinction here. God, he calls out to people, no matter their nationality or their ethnicity. And he says, there's no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? And then he continues down in verse 17 of, of Romans chapter 10. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The, the best uh, translation of verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word about Christ. Um, the word of God is ne necessary in the life of a believer and it's necessary to be spoken and taught and preached, particularly preached in the lives of non-believers by believers. Uh, it, it only stands to reason that we engage this book that draws one to Christ, uh, it, it, to engage this book that strengthens faith in Christ and that, that ushers uh, the need of believing in God. This book is, is the crux of it. God's chosen to do this, and that's why he chose to write a book. He didn't put it on a video, and he didn't put his message uh, on a DVD or a CD or on the radio. He put it on, or he, he put it on pages and he, he has a book for it. Um, when I say stay in the word, it's because of the necessity of it. And that verse 17 of Romans 10, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word about Christ. This is essential for believers. There's not a day when you've heard too much word about Christ. As a Christian, you can't hear too much about him. 
uh, we'll spend the rest of our lives trying to know him more intimately by chiseling away and sharpening areas of our lives that are not fully gladly surrendered to him. It takes a lifetime and then some to to grow into this relationship. And uh, God does the heavy lifting even at that in our relationship with him. He's the one who does all the, the real heavy work in drawing us to him. But uh, the part that's in our laps right now is staying in the word and getting into the word and committing time to saying, God, I, I have to learn uh, more about you, therefore more about myself and my natural propensity to, to not be in line with you and your thinking and your thoughts and your positions. And the, the word is what catches us on these things. Paul writes to Timothy and talks about the value of the word of God. It's, it's profitable. It's to our advantage for um, correction, reproof, and uh, direction, and the instruction in righteousness. Um, this, is, this is important to be engaged and involved daily with this book. So when I say stay in the word, uh, I, I truly mean for our good and for God's glory. You know, A.W. Tozer, uh, he wrote this, The Bible is not an end in itself, but a means to bring men to an intimate and satisfying knowledge of God. He's the one who said the Bible is not a, 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 a focal point of worship. It's not an end in itself. It, it's a means that God has used and chosen to use to bring men to an intimate and satisfying knowledge of God that they may enter into him that they may delight in his presence and may taste and know the inner sweetness of the very God himself in the core and center of their hearts. Tozer has a lot of words that I suggest you use, and I'll save that for another word of encouragement. But this line in the preface of Tozer's book, The Pursuit of God, is a line that you should lay your eyes on as it will draw you to God's word and the value and necessity of it. Stay in the word. And when it's hard because you don't Maybe if you're one of those individuals that are, you don't really enjoy reading or reading's not something that, that, that you long to do. Uh, and you might think, I have a hard time reading the Bible because I'm just not a reader. Uh, that's, while that might not be an excuse, I'm going to argue that reading the Bible can be fueled by a desire that is something supernatural. Uh, ask God for a desire to read his word and begin with a simple uh, letter of Paul's, for instance, Philippians. That's a that's an easy, r- relatively happy letter. Uh, read Philippians. You could read that even if you're a slower reader in, in literally a matter of minutes. You could read that a few times a week to get into the Word. You might find the desire to be in the Word uh, will begin to grow because God does a supernatural work whenever we engage His Word. So stay in the Word. That's your word of encouragement, this first uh, word of encouragement of 2022. The necessity of staying in the word uh, cannot be overstated for the life and and the daily activities in a Christian's uh, life. So be in it. Ask God to help you be in it. Ask God for a desire to be in it and find that he will bless you by revealing himself to you as you are in it. You will begin to see the word not as it's not a focal point of worship. It's the means for us to have the revealed God who we should be worshiping in our activities in life. It, It will reveal him. So stay in the word. I'll say it again. Stay in the word. Stay with me in the word. This Sunday will be in Hebrews chapter 2. A long time coming. I've had this message sitting for weeks now, ready to go. I've been looking back at it, and I don't want to lose my fire for this passage. I'm I'm really still excited to bring it and to preach it. I believe God has this for us right now. So uh, get into Hebrews chapter 1. There's a place you can be. It's 14 verses. You just read through it. I think it's 14 verses. Uh, Read through Hebrews 1 in preparation for this Sunday. And uh, begin preparing your heart for what the Holy Spirit has for you through his word this Sunday. So as always, until Sunday, stay in the word.